Hey guys, Mad Matt Wonk here with another episode of Mad Matt's Minecraft Feed the Beast solo episode. Uh, as you can see, we're quickly climbing up to another pulverization of tin this time. Uh, the next thing on our list to make is in fact a generator. There it goes. Using up 400 MJ. We're gonna crush some tin today. Almost. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. And there we go. Tin. Ooh, we got pulverized iron out of it too. That was extremely amazing and great to catch on camera. Um, let's catch a nap while we're going. Um, so yeah. <sighs> Welcome back to Feed the Beast Solo Edition. Um, we're gonna throw some stuff in here. We got some pulverized tin and some iron. Uh, what we're gonna be working on today. Uh, the next thing, yeah, the next thing that we gotta make is a generator. Because then we can start using, um, the massive amount of wood and trees and stuff that we're going to get, uh, and storing it as EU power, which I prefer to MJ, mainly because you can convert EU to MJ, and not vice versa without a lot of work. So there's two different ways to make a generator. The first way is a battery, three refined iron ingots, and an iron furnace. That's a total of 11 iron and a battery. Uh, the other way is a um, machine block, and a battery, and a furnace. So that's eight refined iron ingots and a furnace, which is easy. So this is 11 iron, this is 8 iron, battery is the same, and then furnace. To make this, you can use 5 iron if you want. So this is actually cheaper. Let's see what other things there are. Two water mills can make a generator. Pass. Okay. This is the recipe that I believe we're going to use. Eight machine blocks. A battery and a furnace. Now the battery, battery, clicking on battery, refuses to work. So, battery, 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 battery. There we go, the RE battery. It requires four tin ingots and a copper cable. However, we can also use sulfur and pulverized lead, which we do not have at the moment. We can also use sulfur and pulverized lead, which we also do not have in the moment. That's just a reversed recipe. So we need redstone, which I believe we have somewhere in a chest, four tin ingots, which we are working on at the moment with our pulverizer that I believe takes three minutes per task, but I'm not entirely sure of that. And a copper cable. Copper cable. Well, I believe we have copper somewhere. But this requires rubber. And rubber. See, this is the best recipe here. Because you can don't need to place things. And rubber is something that we cannot manufacture at the moment. Oh, look, 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 look. Dun, 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 tin. That's a lot of fun waiting for that. Um... So, we need to go on a quest for rubber today, and we are going to take with us some charcoal. We are not going to take all this delicious, delicious iron. Um, we are going to, um, what time is it? The clock, by which I mean the sun. Um, I think we'll leave that behind. Uh, there's going to be something really cool that I can show, but I'm not going to yet. Uh, we need to make us... Yeah, there we go. Uh, looks like we need a new sword. Don't really want to make an iron one yet. Um, oh, where's the trash thing? Ferrosaur. Yeah, yeah, we're going to save that. I don't know if I said that last time. But yeah, we're going to save that for a while. Um, new sword. Break that one, and it should auto auto replace. Uh, we can dump that in the not as useful chest. Um, um, and we have an extra pickaxe in case we need it. I'm actually gonna throw that one there. A bow with 13 arrows. We're gonna save those. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think that. Oh, pff, duh, we need our special super duper. Do, 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 do. Tree tap. Ooh, while I'm thinking of it, we ought to go one, two, three, 
not by six either. We ought to make us some axes and some torches. Okay, we are now, as soon as we get things set up in a easy to do thing. How are you running? You got 210, we're up to 92, I think. See, the thing about this is to make it awesome is that this will load through our extremely, extremely slow um, off kilter pistons. Pist not pistons, redstone engines. And so once all this tin is gone, it'll charge up and get us 4,800 megajoules saved up, which at 400 a pop is the same thing as uh, pulverizing 12 ingots for free. Um, and so um, I'm going to run around in a circle for a moment here. Is that aside which way to go? We're probably going to go into the jungle, actually. Um... wasting time i'm actually going to wait for that to go and pop all the iron in i will be back in just a second here and there it goes downwards 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 sliding down the slide of fate uh did a bit of tree cutting while waiting for it to go um i don't know if i pointed it out exactly um, stupid sidebar thing okay um but yeah if we come over here uh, i'm totally rocking uh five pistons here um, one, two, three, four, and then one underneath. And I keep calling them pistons when they are, in fact, redstone engines. Got another pulverized tin. And if you can see, uh, if you were paying attention to the numbers, I had another pulverized iron out of it. Um, and now we want copper. We want copper in there because we're going to use copper. Oh, we're going to use iron, too. Um... It's times like this that you want a hopper. I'm going to throw the iron in. Because once we have a bunch of iron, then we can make iron tools and stuff. Um, so anyway. Um, time has passed. That was the wrong button. There we go. Um, so I think we got our spawn waypoint set. Uh, we're just going to head this way a little bit. Do a bit of exploring. See a bit of chickens. See if we... Oh, nope. That was not the last use of this sword. Um, let's see, let's see how many chickens we can kill with this almost dead sword before we get there. Come here, chicken! Chicken! Chicken was good at dodging while standing still. It's an extremely amazing talent. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, chicken. No, wow, three. I apparently had three uses left in that sword, and that guy didn't drop me anything. Yeah, he did. Okay, um, we'll save the pigs though. Pigs are friends, not food. No, I'll totally eat a pig if it comes to it. Bees. I should probably get into bees. I don't know. Ah, gravity! Ho oh, ho 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 ho. Boy, someone here is stupid, and I think it smells like me. Let's slowly climb up. Let's see some more amber. That looks like aluminium. Um, 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 um. Which is pretty freaking useless as far as I can tell. If anyone knows of a use for aluminium other than torches, uh, please let me know. And I don't even think they're extremely useful for torches. Um, boy, I'm glad I wasted all my day standing around attacking chickens and just standing in place. Oh, look, it's a zombert. Hello, zombie. Oh, yeah, sure. Break my sword, why don't you? Um, let's see here, do, 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 do. wandering in the wilderness, with the shovel in my hand, I hope I find some rubber, cause I need some right now. See, this is a luck of the draw type thing, depending on your biome, you could totally fall to your death right there. Um, you can... Uh, occasionally find rubber trees pretty quickly. Mm, cow. Yield to me your cow cloth. Excellent. Um, it's getting dark. Possibly all these trees. Oh no, it is actually night. Well, that just makes it more adventurous. I'm scared, I want to go home. 
No, no going home. Not until we complete our quest. Yeah. I found an underground river, and someone found me! Ah, die, die, die. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Aha, a beehive. Oh, I have to get into beekeeping. I've not. I've said that a couple of times this episode so far. Twice, in fact. There's also because I'm near a jungle, like a real jungle. There's actually jungle fruits, by which I mean cocoa beans, which, as far as I know, are pretty useless. And there is an oil spludge here in this jungle, and that's useless too. Hmm. There. I got seeds. They are flax, which you know. Talking about useless stuff, I'm pretty sure flax counts. Nope. This way and talk a little. Digging, digging, digging. This is like the most exciting video ever. It's me digging. Yes. Chicken. Urge to kill. Risen. Uh, climbing up. Um, let's go this way. Ah! That was me getting on the vines. I don't want to get on vines. I want to go this way. <sighs> oh, look! More redwood. Or, ow! Quit it! Eat blade, mighty demon! Did I get him? Yes, yes, because I have arrows in my inventory, but still no bones, because I want bones. Oh, look, it's a desert. You know what a desert is? The exact wrong place to find rubber trees. I will ride down the oil river of doom. Or possibly water slide. Oil water slide. <laughs> okay, those guys are scary. In chicken! <laughs> no, bad chicken. Yeah. Game writer is working with you. Jetpack, jetpack, jetpack! I don't have a jetpack. No! Not healing, not healing. Aha, zombie brains. Zombies, I've got your brains. Your brother almost killed me, therefore I shall kill you. Um. <laughs> Hello, creeper. Sword blocks are amazing. Uh, yeah, everyone should totally block with their sword. Win. Um, facing with the creeper. You hit him once to knock him away. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, look at that terrain. Look at that terrain editor. Is it just glitching out on me? Is it just glitching? Oh, because that's cool. Look at that. Look at that. <sighs> Creepers, look at them. Look. Bones! Yay! Bones are like food. Oh, look! A village! Excellent. I probably am killing all the villagers just with my presence here. But that looks really cool. See, like, the coolest parts about Minecraft is when the game glitches and you get things like that. Not necessarily the game. The, um, world generator glitches and you get things like that. Um. Uh, yeah, it's like a whole on desert town in here. And it's empty. Let's see here. Why, hello there. Diamonds for bread? Fish for bread? Or fish for diamonds, I think. Diamonds for bread? Not very impressed. Chicken. 16. I only have six. Dang it. Fish for bread? Things have a things for diamond and fish. Aha! Emeralds. I can get an emerald off of that. Um. I'm probably killing all these people by my presence. And I probably already said that. Aha! Defend the town that I've just met! You shall not kill my friends that I have just met. One of you is very angry. I'm sorry about that. Um. Hey, viewers, watch my back. Yeah, I know you guys can't actually do that. But. Ooh, look, it's a smithy with a chest! And marble! Ooh, marble. Anything good? Wow, that's a mother- Oh, look at that. Two rubber tree saplings, some coal coke, 
and iron and oak saplings and bronze boots and obsidian. Wow. This right here was like one of the best things to have happened to us ever. That makes up for killing the town. Thank you, villagers, for your amazing ender uh, smithy chest. I feel horrible about your eminent demise. I shall do what I can to prevent that. But I have you will have you know that uh, these treasure trove will make it so that I can stab you in the face without feeling really guilty. Well, no, I do feel guilty, but that's what happens. You know, escort quests. Duh. Shudder. Anyway, I'm going to hole up in here and heal some hearts, uh, and we'll run back to the base in just a second. Okay, I healed up a bit and went around and talked to some villagers, and there's some pretty awesome ones. Not gonna lie, it's pretty legit here. I really need to save this town. I really need the sun to come up. I really need this zombie not to kill the villagers in this room because they're amazing and I'm going to have to do some trading with them. Um, yep, 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 yep. Uh, I'm going to be using up the uh, bones that I've acquired so thus far uh, to be able to turn it into wheat, which hopefully there is enough uh, farms here. Oh, look, um, yeah, that's... Look, a bed. Um. Yeah. Anyway, that was way awesome. So, oh, look. We get to come and check on this guy. 14. 14 pulverized iron. That's pretty awesome. Um, we're actually going to take this and one of these and come in here and go boom, 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 and start cooking on that. So it'll be ready by the time we get back. Um, hey, I'm going to want a bow and arrows. Um, do you have anything to trade? No. Nothing at all. A wheat. One wheat. Okay. <sighs> right. See you back at the village. <clears throat> Banzai! <sighs> really glad I made that. That would have been very embarrassing not to make it. So yeah, I just totally used up most of my health trying to get here. And, uh, yeah. Good. He didn't want to follow me. It's pretty far away. How far is base? Base is 300-ish blocks, and it's not at all a straight path. Uh, I took a slightly different route and ended up walking through quite a lot of uh, hills, having to walk up them and stuff. Where'd that wheat go? Oh, right. Stacked the one in my inventory. Um, right, right, right. Um, anyway, I'm going to do a couple errands around here. A couple chores. Um, and I will be right. Okay, guys, went around and did a bunch of errands, and there's this guy here, who's one of the guys I want to trade with, uh, mainly the guy I want to trade with. Um, I don't know what he is called, villager role-wise, but, uh, giving him an emerald gives you a knowledge fragment, uh, which isn't very useful for what I'm doing right now, but it's way cool that he's here, um, because, uh, I... Oh, yeah, if he dies, I'm going to be way annoyed. Um, because knowledge fragments are where I am personally... Oh, I have a steel axe. When did I get that? I really don't know. But a knowledge fragment is where I am at in Thumbcraft, where I need a bunch of uh, um, knowledge fragments on the uh, main server. Um, my beach GC server. So, there's so much here. Like, if my base wasn't 300 away, and if I had found this place first... I probably would start making stuff here, but as it is, I believe I have my rubber tree saplings, I've got my bones, I'm going to head back to base camp, guys. Um, I'm probably going to head... <sighs> this is way awesome village, this is a huge village. Um, in fact, once I'm done with this series, I'm probably going to restart and maybe do come back and work on this village, I don't know. I um, expect to see more of this place again. We need a name for it. If someone comes up with a name for it, I will probably use that name. Unless I'm not going to. Yeah. Not going to get a better offer than that today. Well, you probably... Well, it depends entirely on how many offers you get. And we got a good supply of spruce wood here. Oh, I have an iron pick. I have a steel pickaxe. That's awesome. Um, That chest, though. Man... That was a good chest. If you guys have ever gotten a better chest, I want video evidence. 
because I seriously doubt it. Because that chest was amazing. It's the best chest I've ever gotten, especially when I suddenly needed rubber. <sighs> I'm hoping that walking around the edges right here will be a little bit better of a path um, than trying to go over. I really don't like oceans. In fact, if someone made a mod where I could pick which biomes spawned in my worlds, I would cut out snow biomes and I would cut out ocean biomes. Like, really large rivers, I'm fine with. But, uh, oceans? Like, you could go that way. And you could go for days, Minecraft days on end, and not find anything. And that's using the extended minimap. That's with cheating and stuff. And then you get times when your uh, stronghold is built underneath an ocean. And so you can't... Oh, this was decent. I'm going to have to make a run for my bed. Yeah. Oh, I have a wasteland pit here? That's awesome. Wastelands used to be the only... Ah, oh, Enderman. Wait, 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 wait. I have a wasteland bit here? Where's base at? Oh, I thought it was way closer to base than I was. <sighs> I found a cool way to deal with Endermen, and so I will have to show you guys that. Um, soon. Soon. Not right now, but soon. Right now, we are treacherously swimming through water, going back to base. And we are going, we're going to make a generator this episode. I promise you that. I promise you. Because we're pretty much done. All we need is a bit more rubber. Well, any rubber. And, uh, yeah. And then, I'm probably going to take some non-recording time and grind out a couple of, uh... Oh, all my resources, really. There's a lot of marble in there. Um... Hmm. Ooh, a lagoon. Lagoons are cool. I don't know what type of base that I'm going to build. Right now I'm showing you guys, like, the starter thing. I guess I'm going to make a base. There's no reason really not to. If you have any base ideas that, uh... You know, I want this to be, like, a tutorial-y type of thing. And I'm kind of horrible about working on bases, though. I've got, um... I've got two in my server right now that I'm working on. And, uh, both of them are not finished. One of them's coming along. One of them, the design is pretty simple, um, though I keep running out of resources because it's fairly expensive. Um, and then the other one, I'm not sure what I'm doing, and that makes things harder. Look, a sheep. That's cool. Um, yeah, don't really know what I'm doing with my castle design, and so I'm probably... Uh, oh, goody, I get to fight for my right to sleep in a bed. And by fight, of course, I mean die. Arrowed! 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 No, 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 no. Hey, look who doesn't have a sword on the bar. Ah, skeletons! What time is it? I don't know if that's east or west. I feel like that's east and the moon is rising. I don't know why. I cannot tell you why. But that's what I feel. I need to... Run away, run away, run away. Hey, hey! Actually, what I need to do is I need to shift and get <sighs> advanced fighting technique. It's not skeleton proof yet. It's getting there. Okay, now it's skeleton proof. Now I can wait till morning. Or I can fight things. Hmm. Oh, I suppose I have a shovel. Rock have I met one cow in his spire. Don't look down, the situation is dire. There's zombies and spiders camping your spawn. There's no hope for you but to wait until dawn. 
Ow. Ow! <laughs> running, running, running. Hey, look, food, food, food. Let's go and aggro a bunch more zombies. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Wish I had better food on the bar. Yay, got him. Sword, sword, sword. Steel axle work. I'm gonna die. I got him. I got him, I got him, I got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dawn. Comes the dawn. Comes the dawn. Um, okay. Can't ever type fast enough while doing that. Yes! We survived! We survived. Excellent. Okay. It's time to unload. First, my knowledge fragment. Oh, I got a cactus. I didn't know I got that. No sand, though. But as I, you know, we've got a place for sand. Um, hey, look, all of that's done. And we have almost 1,200 all saved up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Gold or copper? Copper in there. Um, dumping stuff, dumping supplies. Ah, we're out of room. It are, don't need stuff chest. How many of those do we have? Three, eight, something like that. A number. Brains, eggs, regular saplings, eggs. Okay. And sound effects. Sound affected. I guess we're putting string in here. Oh, we're not entirely sure why. Anyway. Sound effects. And let there be tree. And let there be tree. Aha. Yellow dot means that we no longer have a spiggity thing. Spiggity thing being the 100% technical word for it. Um. I don't want to crush the thing. Ferris or no, I'm saving Ferris or for an industrial grinder, and you guys should too. We'll crush some flint in there, actually, um, for reasons that I will tell you guys later. <laughs> um, sorry about that laugh. Um, where was I here? Okay, and coal coke. Okay. One. Okay, I skipped ahead a bit, mainly because I 100% totally forgot uh, that I was running long in video, and it went out and kaputted on me. So, yeah, I lost a little bit of funny moments, not too much. Um, so there's two schools of thought on the trees. Um, I have heard people say that doing this, oh, you can, yeah, there it goes, doing that and using up a, wow, I used up that whole thing, actually, uh, kills the tree, um, but I honestly do not have proof nor faith in that, uh, however, I do want more saplings, and so I'm going to break down these trees and see what saplings come Breaking rubber wood does give you a little bit of stuff, as you can see from that right there. Hopefully I'll get at least two saplings. Maybe I'll be able to get a little bit more. Um, the copper finished. That's good. That's good. Um, so we will go... Um, where is, where is, where is, where is my copper? It's right here in my hand. Excellent. So we make insulated copper cable. We have a rubber ball, and we have tin, tin, tin. We have a bunch of tin. Another copper ball. Um, we're actually gonna swap the chicken. Not use all those up right now. Um, no, no, rock jobs, redstone. <gasps> really? No, I don't have redstone. Oh, 
swap to iron. Um, because I care about iron more than I care about chicken. Okay, first of all, I don't have enough chests out here. I want to extend this chest out and this chest out, probably out this way, just so I have more stuff and places to store useful things. Um, <laughs> of course, of course, this is, I put the tin up. Coal coconut, wood planks, and stairs, and torches, which will be useful because we are going down into the deep. Um, three, I don't really need those. Um, bedding of charcoal would be useful. Okay. Um, let's one rubber tree sapling, which is good that I checked. I've also heard it said that stuff drops better when you let it on its own. I don't know if that's true either. It sounds like rumor to me, but who knows? Who am I to argue with rumor? Um, okay, I think I'm going to go head down into the deep, try and remember where the deep was from here. Bet the ravine would be a good place to check. Um, so as I go caving and stuff happens, I will let you guys know. If not, I'll just return with redstone. Or maybe I'll show you me getting the redstone. Whatever. Okay, guys. Here we are. We have found redstone. In fact, picking it up. And look what was underneath it. Yeah. The rocks. One rock. Two rock. Oh, just two rocks. Um, Let's look around. Can we get any more? 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 There's a third rock. There's a third rock. And there's a fourth rock, fourth rock, rock number four, rock number four, rock number four, is awesome. Yeah, we got ourselves four of the shinies, which means we now need to get out of here. And let me tell you, I have been down here for such a long time. Do you want to know how long I've been down here? I've been down here so long that I made myself a hoe so that I could be able to get uh, carrots. Because I had a zombie drop a carrot, and I made carrots. I was in here so long, I have a stack and a bit of iron. I've got tin. I've got copper up the wazoo. I've got lead. I've got string that I... I don't mind leaving all this here, actually. Um, ferrous ore. i got nine ferrous ore, which is awesome, because I'll totally use that um, later on to get platinum and do some awesome stuff with that. So, I'm going to start working my way up. Uh, this is going to be my new deep down mine thing that I'm going to use. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go up and uh, look. If you look at the minimap, no, it didn't work. Minimap, will this work? We're like, that's our base right there, and this is us. So we're, we're like way close to home. So that's also way cool. Um, to have found diamonds, so close to home. Um, so I got my treasures, and I'm heading back to the surface. Okay, guys, we are back once again. Uh, it has been a long journey to get to this point. Um, and there's still a little bit more work to do. Um, throw that in there. Um, look for some of that. Okay. Uh, first of all, we're going to make ourselves a foinus. And then we're going to throw this in here. We're going to make our... Redstone batteries. Red electric batteries. I don't know what the E stands for. Renewable batteries. Rechargeable batteries? Something like that. Hey, let's throw diamonds actually in a chest. Um. Ooh, better than iron. We got an achievement. Achievement get! <sighs> okay, um. We're cooking a ton of uh, things in the pulverizer. I threw a stack in there. Um, this is all 
more stuff from the hole that we have left to grindify. Um, a lot of stuff in there. Pulled out some iron already, I think. Got that somewhere at least. Um, this will probably give us enough ferrous to give us nickel. Um, when we do come around, uh, we don't have quite enough to give us a guaranteed uh, iridium, but we're close. Ferrous ore turns into iridium. You guys should know that. Um, that's pretty important. And so we will uh, use that when the time comes. Um, and I'm just stalling for this to finish. There we go. Um, machine block. Hey, I'll be right there. Machine block and a furnace and a battery is a generator. We got a generator. We got a generator. Wave it in the air. Wave it in the air. Okay. Um, this is our unsafe spot that we have our star pattern pulverizer. Um, so we're going to come over here and drop our generator. Now, generator, as you guys know, um, fuel goes in here, chargeable things go in here. This shows the charge of the generator. So one piece of charcoal right here, I believe, I believe, I believe. Uh, if we look at it, it can reverse 4,000 EU. I don't know how much it can store, but it could probably store that. We should probably make us some bat boxes battery box. That's not the same thing. I go down to bat. Probably should make some bat boxes because they store EU. Um, I probably want like a uh, bat pack, maybe. Probably not. Um, as you can see, it looks like one piece of coal pretty much fills that up in there. Uh, we could also burn other tools if we wanted to, but we don't really want to right now. Um, right now, I'm going to probably turn the camera off and just grind for a little bit. Uh, listen to some of my U-tubes. Um, next time, next time, next time, next time, I think we're going to make us a bat box because we have the resources. We'll throw a bat box into this system. Probably just set it right here. And we're going to focus it. And we'll probably do some cabling. And where's dirt? Gravel? Gravel will work. Um, so that one will be a bat box. And then those three are going to be cable, and then, because then we can break them individually. Um, and then we'll probably do an electric furnace, and then we'll probably do, um, can't do a macerator yet, but we do need a compressor. Um, I don't know, what are the machines I want to make? I do know I need an electric furnace, I do know I need a compressor. Uh, I'll probably do an industrial centrifuge. And we will need an industrial electrolyzer, but I don't think we are ready for that level of technology yet. Uh, we also do need to start looking out towards making um, a safer place for us to live. Oh, 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 and episode after making electric furnace um, and starting to cook things without uh, actually using all of the coal. That's the cool thing, actually, about the generator. I believe you, you actually lose a little bit if you were cooking it. Uh, by eight. Um, so if you pump an electric, uh, take a generator, pump it into the straight into a electric furnace, you do lose a little bit. But I can cook six things uh, instead of having to cook eight to stay efficient, and that's what it's all about. Um, but anyway, after that, we will make ourselves a mining turtle and use our diamonds in the most efficient way possible by starting a fake quarry um, using. A mining turtle. So, uh, I'm still not exactly sure what code I want to use for that, but uh, I will think about mining turtle codes. I will think about things that we're going to do. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think uh, we are ready to go. So, uh, you guys stay in line and I will sleep in the bed. Sleep in the bed. See you next time. I can never type fast enough for that. You guys, stay in line. I'll see you next time. Peace.